Hello, this is Jerry Jenkins. I'm going to introduce you to an idea uh, that's going to use the uh, object dot uh, underscore underscore dict underscore underscore. This is a special uh, dictionary that's part of every object you create that holds the attributes and you can modify it and uh, you can see what the attributes are. So we're going to do some things with it. Uh, first we'll see what it is but we're going to use it to uh, set defaults for a class so that when you create objects the object will have uh, default values uh, for its attributes. We're going to look at a flexible constructor where you can provide a variable number of uh, parameters and the ones you don't provide will be set by the defaults set up in the class. Uh, we're going to look at adding new attributes to a class uh, that will affect future object references so you can have an object that has uh, three attributes and then you can modify the class dynamically so that in the future your your objects might have more new attributes. Uh, and then we're also going to look at adding attributes to a specific object. Now there's other ways of doing these things uh, but this is all going to use the underscore underscore dict underscore underscore. So let's go to the first example. So this whole example we're going to be using a point class so here's a fairly standard point class. Uh, I declare a class called point. In the constructor I set two x and y value. So I set up two attributes. Uh, I calculate the distance uh, to another point and I use the math hypothesis function. If you've never seen that it's a nice function uh, whenever you need a, uh, a distance. And then I'm going to run it and uh, create two points and print out the distance and the way I've arranged the points I should get the square root of two. So we we'll run this and we do that. So so far everything's normal. Now let's uh, look at a little variation here. So what all I've added here is in the test uh, I've printed out uh, P2 and I've also added a, a REPL here. And this will create a string representation of my object. And what the REPL is going to do is is take the dictionary uh, underscore underscore dictionary for the object and convert it to a string. And so when we print the points here, we'll see what that does. So that's going to look up the attributes that are defined for that object. And so we run that. And so point one has uh, x and y set to one and two, and point two has x and y point two set to two and three. So this is the part that's getting the REPL right here. So it just outputs the dictionary as a string. So that's cool. So now let's look at a way of using that. So in point three, we're going to add two lines. For the class, we're adding a class variable called defaults, which has a dictionary of the uh, attributes we want and their defaults. And in the constructor, we've modified it so that we uh, basically update the dictionary for the object uh, with these defaults on the class. So that's basically going to create the attributes and set them. And uh, we're going to try it out up here. So let's run it. And so it creates a new point and prints out P1, which will call the REPL to create a string for the object. And you can see it prints out uh, that we have X and Y parameters set to 0 and 0. Now, since we've set these, they are normal defaults as well. So we could print uh, p1.x, and it would do that. So you see, it'll print. It'll look up p1.x. You can also set p1.x so that they become normal attributes. You can access with the dot member notation. Now let's go a little further. So now we, we've created a template, and we're going to have a class method to update it. So we have our defaults, but now we have a class method that we can call set defaults and give it some uh, uh, keyword parameters. And we're going to update our defaults to that. Now when we create the object, it's going to update the defaults. So you know, it does the same thing as before. And so, but here to see what's happening, we're going to create a point. Uh, we'll print out the, uh, that point. And then we're going to change the defaults for the class to make the default now 99 and we'll print out a point. And we'll see that it 
now has the default when it creates a constructor to set x to 99. But how, here's something surprising. We're going to, uh, uh, we're going to set defaults and set z to 0. That adds a new attribute to the objects we create from now on, which will have, so we'll have x, y, and z. We create a point and we print that out and we set Z to 42 and print that out so you'll see that now we have uh, X, Y, and Z objects. So let's run that. And you'll see that when we've added, uh, first we've changed the default so new points have X set to 99 and here we've changed the default to add Z and then we've set Z to 0, 42 and you can see it's a normal attribute for the object now. So that's kind of cool. So now we're going to uh, do optional constructor parameters. So this is kind of optional. Uh, we rely on the fact that in th version 3.6 of Python and beyond, dictionaries retain the order of the keys. So when you get the keys, uh, it's in that order. So it's in the order X and Y. So what we've done is, what we've ch changed here is we modified this uh, to update from the point parameters, but now we get the keys uh, for the defaults, and then we enumerate uh, through those uh, args that were passed. So we were passed a, a variable number of arguments here. So we enumerate through that, and we use i to look up the key name. And so we set the dictionary of that key name to v. So if you pass in one argument, it's only going to set up x. And if you pass in two arguments, it'll set up x and y. If you pass in more, you're going to get an error because it uh, will try to set to a non-key. So I don't. You can add checking for that. Uh, so let's test it out here. So we're going to create a new point and pass two arguments. We're going to set the defaults to add x to 99. Uh, we're going to new pass one argument, and then we'll set the uh, Let's actually set it to 22 here. So let's run it. Okay, so set 1 and 2. You'll see it sets up to 1 and 2. Set the defaults to 22. And then create a point that has 99. It sets it to 99. And then we add points 3 and 4. And you can see it sets x and y as 3 and 4. So here uh, it's an optional way you can do your constructor so it expects different variations. So now we're going to go to our final. We're going to combine a lot of things. So what we've added here uh, is we take the the uh, we have we pass it args and keyword arguments. So it copies any. Uh, regular arguments to our things, but then it allows us to extend the attributes to with any keyword arguments. So that when we construct an object, we could say create a Z attribute or a color attribute or any attribute ne we need. So we can dynamically create attributes when we create the object that are specific to that object. Uh, we've added a modify attribute, so after you've created the objects, you can you can add or change uh, the values of the attributes. And then uh, that's basically it. So now we're going to do this. We're going to create a point, and it'll have uh, one and two. So there's our our arguments, and there's our our uh, uh, named arguments. So we're going to create a z value and a label, and we'll print that point. And then we're going to modify the attributes and set z to 88 and the color to green, and we'll print that. So we'll see it does all that. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, uh, go on to my YouTube channel and, and subscribe. And I'll also remind you at the, at, of that right at the end. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll see an icon in the lower right to do that. And you'll receive notifications when I post new videos. Thank you.